flat earth curvature trigger um, this one I, I discussed it a few times in chats uh, about January time um, about a debate I've had, I'd had with a friend about um, about the curvature about this um, <clears throat> so in the debate I were arguing with him that the basics of this kind of math is that you know you look it's going out four thousand miles so it's got to drop four thousand miles you know what i mean it's like the shape the size of the earth and stuff like that kind of thing it's four thousand a car you know almost but you know um <clears throat> so it's going to be four thousand mile out to the next point you know what i mean a 90 degree point from there kind of thing um and then you you turn up at the equator or wherever and stuff like that kind of thing like um <clears throat> So, the problem is, he wouldn't have it because, as we're going through, like every every time a mile, uh, it comes to, what's it called, uh, 8 inches, 32 inches for your second mile, and it's like, hang on, how's it, why has it gone up so much? And I say, it's because it's squared and stuff like that, and he's like, no, 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 because a circle is like, it's equal all the way around and all this kind of thing. So, you know, you'd kind of like have a circle like this and, and a, a notch for every, or the distance, 100, 200 mile or whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> or per mile, you know what I mean, in in this sense and stuff like He wanted it to be uh, like eight, you know, just the second first number and like eight inch per mile of, of drop. Uh, but that gives you like 200... 200,000 miles circumference for Earth then, so, you know, I mean, you know, the number's wrong, but the the idea that a circle is consistently round is accurate, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't uh, <clears throat> change shape as it goes round and become more exponential, you know what I mean, as, 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 to, as, as far as a circle goes, you know what I mean, so, in, you see, this is equal all the way around, you know what I mean, and stuff like um, <clears throat> but the problem is, this is 2D, you know what I mean? This is a 2D representation of something we're trying to describe in reality, which is a 3D representation. So you've got, like, somebody looking at a circle, like an ellipse. <clears throat> and you've got a shadow to reference it. <laughs> uh, so I can kind of create a 3D aspect towards it, in a way. So if he's looking at the... Uh, then it is going to be equal all the way around but if you were on it and then you were looking along you know out kind of thing as as the circle kind of curves then it's going to drop more the further you go you know you look away kind of thing like and so <clears throat> you got your first thousand mile <clears throat> not much curvature and your first second your second thousand mile it's still about that much curvature and stuff like that you, you, second to your third, you can see how much it's drastically got more. I mean, you know, what I mean, like in your last thousand, I mean, look how you know, what I mean, <clears throat> if you did a thousand and ten, uh, at ten miles off, you'd you'd go past and then you'd go down for you know infinity or whatever and stuff like. And so, like the difference between there and there, that is exponential. So, like, the, the idea that we're doing this in 3D, when we're, when we're discussing with Globus and stuff like that kind of thing, the argument that they try to only accept a 2D model of of something that you experience in reality is, is a failure on their part. <clears throat> so this still works. This is still fine for, like, the first quarter of, of, of your curvature kind of thing. Um, Especially in terms of perspective and all that kind of thing. Like I used to half it. <clears throat> I used to consider that if I were that sort of thing. Five hundred mile. Uh, <clears throat> uh, zero to five hundred. So two fifty is about there. I'd say that's where. I'd mark it to, so if I were looking there, I'd be looking through that much hump. I'd try and draw a line connecting from that to that point. So that's curved, that one that's there. So my line would come underneath it, and then I'd, I'd try and gauge 
how much height is in on there and stuff like that. I did it for that salt splats video. I kind of halved, you know, it's like for 100 miles. Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll half it to 50. Uh, <clears throat> It's, it's a mile's worth of drop, 100 mile. So like, I half that to half a mile, right? And then still look at the salt flats, and you've still got like a massive <laughs> uh, swell of water which is missing. You know what I mean and stuff like. So it don't matter. You can you can uh, go in favour of the globe as many as you know, give it as many free shots as it likes in a sense and stuff like that. It doesn't really matter because it still doesn't stand up to its screw in it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, thanks for listening. Cheers.